Now oh, yeah. we have an idea why John Cena's here tonight. Because he has an issue with Aiden English's singing? Cena might not be a fan of the Drama King, but my guess is it has more to do with wanting to get a closer look at SmackDown Live's hottest superstar, Buzz. Now we get to see one of the weirdest things about this game. Take it easy, partner. I'm not out here for a fight. At least not yet. I'm here because I've heard all the buzz. You gotta see this guy who's blowing up on the indies. You gotta see this guy who invaded NXT and stuck it to Triple H. You gotta see this guy who won the US title and defended it in an open challenge week after week. Hmm. I wonder where he got that idea. You gotta see this guy who went to Japan and beat Nakamura and AJ Styles in the dome of all places. Now most people would get caught up in all that, but not me. You see, I've been around for a while. And so many times I've heard all the buzz. And then when it comes time for me to actually see what's behind the buzz, it doesn't measure up to the hype. So I'm out here tonight because I want to know, do you measure up, Buzz? <laughs> that makes me look goofy. If you guys didn't catch that, apparently they couldn't get John Cena to voice himself, so they got um, Gavin Hammond to voice him for him, who does not sound that much like him. Was he, maybe was he busy, like, filming for Bumblebee or something? Let's see. See, this thing needs to prove. You know what? I want to face... I'll face you. Well, this might come across as arrogant, but I believe I measure up to every bit of the hype. No, oh, that's good. You should be confident in yourself. But I also understand it's one of those need-to-experience-it-first-hand-to-believe-it sort of things. So if you truly want to find out if I measure up, how about you and me go one on one at SummerSlam? After that, all your questions will be answered. Let's do it. You accept my challenge. Good. Next week. If anyone knows anything about having immediate success in the WWE, it's me. After all, I was the youngest world heavyweight champion in history at the age of 24. But unlike you, Buzz, I didn't rely on cheap gimmicks like viral videos or invading someone else's show to make it to the top. No, I did things the right way. But that's not what gets rewarded these days, is it? No, now you get hot on the indies, show up, win a few matches on SmackDown, they get handed a main event match in one of the biggest shows of the year. Well, I am sick of it. I am sick of it. I should be facing John Cena at SummerSlam, not you. That is my spot. We're we'll coming to that to my gas mask. Look, I can give you an entire list of reasons why I'm facing John Cena at SummerSlam. But instead, let me give you one reason why you're not facing Cena. Because we've seen that match over and over and over again. The WWE Universe wants something new and exciting, not Cena versus Orton part 589. I don't give a damn what the WWE Universe wants. Yeah? Well, I do. 
And since we have unfinished business after you cost me the U.S. title, how about we give them a match they've never seen before? You versus me right now. What's in it for me? The chance to prove everything you just said about me. That's fine. But I was thinking more like if I beat you, I take your place in the match versus Cena at SummerSlam. Do you want to shut up all the critics and earn your big main event opportunity? Or do you want another handout? All right. To prove to you and everyone else that I've earned everything I've ever gotten, I'll put my spot in the SummerSlam match on the line. That's great. I look forward to taking it from you by giving the WWE Universe something they have seen before. Me hitting you with an RKO. So you have the pyrotechnics behind me? Let's go. Time to get to the snake skin. All Buzz is proving tonight is that he loves taking stupid risks. And this one's going to cost him his match with Cena at SummerSlam. That's only if Orton can oh, defeat him. But what does he have to gain? I think it's a matter of pride. Well, there's a fine line between pride no and problem. stupidity, and he's crossed it. Beautiful technique. You tried to mess me up, and you failed me. And now, I'm going to make you sorry. Forearm right to the jaw, stunned him. Oh, you are crazy. Forearm right to the jaw, stunned him. And up. And down. He's got him in deep, deep trouble here. Oh, look, no, 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 no. shot right across the back of the neck. Ouch. Putting it Almost all to on the it. line. Senton connects. This might be it. Oh, my. A lead moonsault. Moonsault. That was beautiful. Randy kind of Orton getting put the to the test. Oh, that's... What's Triple H doing here? This could get ugly real fast, guys. We're about to have a new oh, man. Wait a minute. AJ Styles might have something to say about that. Why is AJ attacking Triple H? This is career suicide. Some people value friendship over money, Corey. Oh, those people are idiots. Yeah, put that. Yeah, Just put down the sledgehammer, Mario. I'm not Donkey Kong. Get up. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. He's gonna be woozy after that impact. Nailed it. Harsh impact. What is keeping Randy Orton in this match? Barely hanging in there. Tonight may not be his night, guys. I don't know. I don't and think he truly cool. understood just how dangerous his opposition was hmm. heading into this match. Of course, he understands that, that now. You but got... it might be too little too late. The cover. True testament to grit. I'm it's just not. as shocked as everyone else, Cole. Oh, oh man! Gosh, why? This might be it. Oh my! He's docking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Oh, do you want me to toss, toss me my my next match, or do you want me to? Win. Randy Orton, Ow. no problem in getting out of that one. He's taking some offense, but we all know that he isn't afraid of a good fight, which is what we're seeing here. Not so fast, gentlemen. By my calculations, he's still very much winning this match. Oh, 
no, you're not done yet. I'm gonna hit you what with one of these. We're, We're about gonna... to find out. Oh, he's gonna do it. Oh, impact. As I was wow. saying, as time to are. blind the basilics. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about gonna... to find out. Oh, he's gonna do it. Beautiful technique. This one's over, guys. Stop. All right. Buzz into the cover. Let's put him into this. Buzz with the W. Wow! Congratulations, Buzz. Now let's take a look back at some of the great action. He ain't messing around. What was that? What was that turn? Hey, no need to set my heel. Man, oh man, look at that. And so it goes. Here is your winner, the Nightmare. A well -earned I bet, I bet this puzzle made for a really good match, I don't make the matches, but if I did, I'd put these two back in the ring ASAP. What an amazing match. And folks, if you're just joining us, I'm sorry to tell you that you just missed one of the most exciting smack. Yeah, whatever. Exciting, exciting. Blah, blah, blah. Hey, thanks for having my back out there with Triple H. If it wasn't for you, I might have lost my chance to face John Cena at SummerSlam. No problem. I know you don't have many allies on SmackDown, but from now on, you can trust me to be there for you. I saw what you did out there tonight. That took some guts to put your match with me on the line. Honestly, I'm surprised you did. I wouldn't be where I am if I played it safe. I don't take the easy way out, no matter what obstacles are put in front of me. I never give up. Hmm. Interesting choice of words. Yeah, well, that's just how I live my life. For me, it's not just a catchphrase to sell towels. And you think that's all it is for me? I busted my ass for everything I have. And will continue to do so until someone has to drag me out of that ring. Guys, you have a match coming up. How about you settle this in the ring? You know what? That's a good idea, AJ. With all this talk about never giving up, how about you put your money where your mouth is? At SummerSlam, how about we make our match a submission match? <laughs> like I said, I don't play things safe. So you got it. I hope you're ready to dance at SummerSlam. Because I'm gonna make you tap. Hey, come on, that's enough. Are you sure that was the right decision? <laughs> no, not at all. I need to start learning some more submission moves ASAP. All right, AJ, got anything for me? Hey, like I said before, I got your back at the pay-per-view just in case Triple H or Randy Orton try to get involved again. Hey, I really appreciate that. You've been such a big help, which is... I hate to ask for another favor, but... Would you be willing to show me the calf crusher? I don't know, man. That's kind of my thing, you know? Can't be giving out all my secrets just in case we have to face each other again someday. Look, I need help if I'm gonna beat Cena in this submission match. I mean, I'll get down on my knees and beg if I have to. Oh my... Stand up, I'll show it to you. Awesome. I owe you one. Don't worry. I'm sure we'll settle up at some point. All right, Daniel, you got anything for me? I'm sorry for how you've been treated by Triple H, but unfortunately, there's not much else I can do to help at this point. I understand. The man still knows how to hold a grudge. Yeah, tell me about it. He's still holding one against me from five years ago. Anyway, good luck in your submission match versus Cena. Avoid the STF at all costs. Easier said than done. 
Alright, Daniel Bryan has a little side match for me. Let's see what you got. I had an idea how I can get you ready for your submission match with John Cena at SummerSlam, but it would involve you wrestling for a second time tonight. What do you mean? I could arrange for you to take on Chad Gable in a submission match. It would give you a chance to work on some submission moves before you face Cena. True. On the other hand, it might give Cena more film on for me to study. That's a good point. It's your call. I'll do it. I'll do it. I think the benefits outweigh any possible negatives. Thanks for sort of it up. So yeah, we actually had to, so yeah, I have to get do it a submission match where I have to make the guy submit. Hopefully I got a little plan to help see if I can get this through this faster, because normally this will be a bit these are kind of slow. Uh, we've seen this. Get ready, WWE. You see what Mr. Gable has to offer. Chad Gable, big opportunity here tonight. And his opponent from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 202 pounds, Chad Gable. Minnesota native has scratched and clawed for everything he's earned in his life. Represented the United States in the Olympics, former tag team champion on multiple occasions. Chad Gable is ready to do big things on the big stage. All right, let's get this over with. You can feel the electricity Ooh. running these through this arena. Up a bit. This is going to be some battle, one on one, mano a mano. The thing about this match is, Ouch. I can't envision these competitors ever giving up. It's just Ooh. not in their DNA. Damn it! Deep, deep and trouble up. here. Look, and down. shot right across the back of the neck. Ouch! What a stomp! Good grief! Chad Gable not looking so good. With these two guys, we all knew this was going to be an all-out battle. Hey, you're going to absorb some punishment in a wrestling match. <laughs> it just goes along with the turn character, to a plane. and he knows Take you that. down. I doubt he's all that concerned at this point. Bam! What a slap! Uh-uh! Uh-huh! And... Boom. with precision! Um, here was that. And the instinct from this. Gable on display. Oh, so quick. Forearm right to the jaw. Stunned him. Oh, what impact. All this demoralizing damage to Chad Gable. How can he take the upper hand here? He'll need to find a way to turn things around All right, here. Let me just you know, I thought this match was going to be much more tightly contested. Bring this guy out of here. Not the case, though. Oh, my God, guys. Oh, Look yeah. at this. Oh, do this. Oh. Power bomb. That's it. It might be cliche, but it's true oh, here. Crap. It ain't over till it's over. And the instinct no, from Gable not on like this. So quick. And he breaks free just when you thought he was out of this one. Look, we have to worry about a good countdown happening. You gotta believe this one's over. He's making a statement here with this attack. Here we Boom. go. Boom. 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 This one's over, guys. That seemingly came out of nowhere. Uh, real quick, let me remember, how do I do it again? Uh, yes, here we go. Okay, yeah, so I gotta get him standing. What does Buzz have in store? Come here, you! Oh, he's got the mandible claw! This could be it! That's what he was looking for, Michael. Ooh. Ooh. And he releases yes. the hold. I don't think he had it fully locked in. Oh, what? Moonsault! Oh, I gotta do that again? Man, did you see the height on that? Taking pity on him? Oh. 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 This is what you get. Oh. 
Yeah, I've never had that happen. Beautiful technique. You got to believe this one's over. Oh boy, he is rolling. What is Buzz? Oh, that's here's your favorite, Corey. Brilliant. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? All right, let's try this again. Oh my God, mandible claw! Oh, roast the mandible claw! That might be all she wrote for Chad Gable. What the heck? Is it? We're not counting that. Submission time. He's losing his grip, Michael. Interesting game decision being like, here, Corey. I don't know. I kind of like, like it. it. He clearly wants to inflict some more pressure. Or do I need to end? Or did I really need to end him the more? the instinct from Gable on display. So quick. Ow. Setting up. Not no. so fast. Looks like he's starting to sweat now. I fully expect him to bounce back, though. This is the type of one-on-one -on -one atmosphere where he thrives. When we talk about submission matches, we have to speak about one that, in many people's eyes, set the standard. It was WrestleMania 13. Bret the Hitman Hart was in a heated rivalry with a Ow. rash star on the rise named Stone Cold Steve Austin. This match started like no other submission match, with the two superstars battling in the crowd and attempting to use ring steps as a weapon. Byron, you mentioned the submission match between Bret Hart and Steve go. Austin at WrestleMania 13. The rivalry between the Hitman and Stone Cold was so intense that WWE Maybe had there. no choice but to appoint mixed Ooh. martial arts champion Ken Shamrock as the special guest yeah. referee. The Hitman didn't waste any time focusing his assault on Austin's injured knee. Steve Austin was busted open and in the All ringside right, area. It looked again. like a tornado. He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. Not sure if he could sustain this, but it's sure fun to watch right now. This might be it. Oh, my. Finally. More moonsault what for you. Incredible moonsault. Oh, boy, he is rolling. What does Buzz have in store? Oh, nasty impact. This one is over. Right, what you get a combination, up. Cole. That might just do it here. One more look at it. Oh, he's got the mandible claw. This could be it. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. So is it really not going to count if I do a super... I never knew that was a thing. That's done. Time. Is he done? Well, that plan backfired. I was hoping, like, just using a mandible claw. So I practiced that. It actually, like, gets oh, him down really fast. Hole. Wow. Part of me thought that was it, Cole. So here, I guess, I guess in the mode, they're just like, nope, you gotta do it real nice and good. Unless that's a submission rule thing that I didn't even uh -oh. know that you... This isn't gonna be pretty! What a Unless slam. that's, like, a submission the next thing I didn't know that finishers do not count. He wants so to go the outside. I think we're about to see fault. a high-risk move from the top rope. Look at this. Oh. Oh, stop. Good grief. Oh, Buzz just barely got out of the way. He's stumbling some now. I'm not sure how much more he has to give. He's really starting to look fatigued here, guys. And when that happens, your whole body starts to give out on you. He's going to need to be careful. Oh, Man, he was making it look easy there for a moment, which is pretty impressive considering who he's in the ring with. Oh, clothesline! Yep. Oh, what a clothesline. Forcefully delivered. Nice half kick. Great elevation. That might be all she wrote for Tim right. Gable. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find out. He's going to do it. Whoa, he lets him out. Whoa. Oh, you he jerk. Had to rights. Here he goes. He's definitely starting to lose it here. Here it comes. He's got him. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find out. He's going to do it. Uh, Swan him outside the rope. Further away from the ropes, please. <laughs> that might be all she wrote for Chad Gable. Submission time! Alright, come on. Is he done?
Hang on, hang on. Chaos, melee, pandemonium. Come on. Time. Your head is the same color as your matter. Is he done? There we go, finally. Man. I'm sure he's I thankful. Did, man, I did this not. This one's over. These guys were awesome. Let's take another look. Man, I did. I did not these know that. These superstars gave as good as they got, and these fans got their money's worth from the opening matches. bell. That's the kind of match that makes me proud to be here at ringside. I thought I would have gotten dead to rights. I thought I would have gotten dead to rights. I thought I would have gotten dead to rights. I thought I would have gotten dead to rights. I thought I would have gotten dead to rights. I thought I would have gotten dead to rights. I thought I would have gotten dead to rights. I thought I would have gotten dead to rights. I thought I would have gotten dead to rights. I thought I would have gotten dead to rights. I thought I would have gotten dead to rights. I thought I would have gotten dead to rights. I thought I would have gotten dead to rights. I thought I would have gotten dead to rights. I thought I would have gotten dead to rights. I thought I would have gotten I can honestly say that a win is a little more satisfying when you make your opponent the upside, tap out. They had a bunch As of stuff for that. On this match, I need to remind everybody just how big of a win this was. All right. Head to the slam. All right. This is going to be good. Making his way to the ring from West Newberry, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds. Nice towel. John Cena. Cena. I say it all the time, and I mean it. The greatest of all time, John Cena. 16-time world champion. There is always a special buzz in the air when John Cena enters the arena. I believe the most polarizing superstar in WWE history. And Thunder, big guy. I'm guessing the shirt's going off next. Loyalty and respect. A mantra he lives by. This man always makes an impact. It's Buzz. And his opponent, accompanied by the phenomenal AJ Styles from Gomez Palacio, Durango, Mexico. Weighing in at 170 pounds, the nightmare. You know, you got this guy following me doing my walk. All right, I think we. Earlier it's, just, today, it's still the same intro. Let's just get into the fight. Let's go. Give him to the yellow. This is an amazing opportunity for Buzz. Just look at what a victory over Cena did for Kevin Owens when he first arrived in WWE. He went on to become Universal Champion. I agree. If Buzz is able to defeat Cena tonight, he could catapult hmm. him to a whole other level. None of that matters because I heard Buzz was begging people backstage to teach him submission holds. That sounds more like a man who's going to catapult right into a brick wall. Slight shot! Across the back of the neck. Ouch. He's going for it all. And now here is some of this. One ton bomb. Boom, what impact. John Man. Cena is starting to take some deep breaths in there. He's going to want to make sure this doesn't snowball out all of right. control. This Aaron. thing appears to be slipping away from him. Now Buzz has Cena and the calf crusher. Cena counters it into the STF. No. What is Triple H doing? Oh boy, we've seen this before. Yeah, this has Montreal screw job written all over it. He's gonna call for the bell. AJ Styles stopped Triple H from costing Buzz the match. It said you kind of cost John Cena the match. Thank you for thank you for being a nice distraction, Mr. H.
in WWE, there's as much chaos outside the ring as there is inside Come here, the ring. You. Try working with Saxton at ringside. John Cena with a nice reversal. Oh man, a little extra luster behind that kick. Devastating elbow. Great agility. Beautiful athleticism into the arm drag. John Cena starting to show signs of fatigue. He came into this match looking for a fight, and it looks like he found one. This match is trending in a bad direction for him right now, guys. He's going to want to make some changes if he wants right. to stay in it. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Now, who, now you can't up. see me. Now Buzz has Cena and the calf crusher. A move he obviously learned from AJ Styles. He did it. Buzz has made John Cena give up to the calf crusher. I never thought I'd see that happen. Unbelievable. For everyone who thought Buzz didn't belong in this spot, he proved tonight. Kurt Angle, now we've seen it all tonight. Despite Triple H's best efforts to impede your progress, you have accomplished amazing things on SmackDown. I've been so impressed that I think the Raw audience also deserves to see what all the buzz is about. So that's why I've negotiated with Daniel Bryan and we were able to agree on a special one-time trade. Sending you to Raw immediately. Well, I can't believe it, but the Raw GM has spoken. Buzz is headed for Monday night. Oh, it's true. It's damn true. I wish I could say good riddance, but we'll be right there with him. Say all you want. You know you're going to miss me. And that's the end of that chapter. So unless there's another cutscene this game, says, show me now. As I just say, I hope you guys enjoyed this so far. I'll see you guys next time. If you enjoyed this series, like and perhaps subscribe if you want. And I bid you all. Sunny off.